What we want to do on this one four, once again, as in our numbered fast break, the four man will take the ball out of bounds. Now, a lot of times, if we can get the ball out in bounds quick, we never have to set up. A lot, also, sometimes the referee will blow the whistle, ball will go out of bounds there, and it gives the chance the defense to set. So if the defense is set up against us, we'll go this 1-4 alignment. And what we start with is the five man on the right-hand side of the floor. Okay? He's inside the three-point line. That's important. We have our one man right on the elbow, right side of the floor. Okay? We have our two man left side of the floor, elbow, and we have our three man just inside the three point line. Okay, now, we're gonna throw a diamond and one press. And let's get, uh, get the gold out here. Hurry up, let's go. Diamond and one, we've got a man on the ball. Okay, Patrick, you're all the way back, my friend. Okay, we've got one guy going all the way back. Matt, we got you right here. Okay, this is the alignment that they'll come at you with usually the most popular zone full court press. And you can call it the diamond and one, or you can call it the one, two, one, one, whatever you want to call it. But what I'm telling you right now, it, what are you going to do with these two guys? Okay, you've got them covered there. We've got the easy pass. We've got the easy pass in here. So we've outnumbered you up here as far as the one for alignment. Okay, sit down, Gold. Sit down. Okay. So just to give you the visual that immediately we've got you outnumbered, you're going to have to do something else besides that one, two, one, one. All right. But let's say we bring the ball in to the five man. Okay. Stop right there. When that happens, when that happens, we want the one to creep up the line. And now he's going to run what we call the Lone Ranger route. Okay. Looking for the ball right there. Okay. Get the ball back to him. Okay, and you're right here. You're ready to run that route. When the ball comes in, the two, his first look is for the two right here. Coming straight across. Don't throw me that dying dove pass. Give me that good pass. Okay, the two is coming right here. If we get him the ball, get him the ball, the one is going to shoot the middle. Okay, he's going to fill the line. Stop right there. And we're going to stop right there. You understand? Now we're right into our break situation that we want to be. Get back to where you're at, gentlemen. Okay, so the ball comes in, stop, he moves up, runs the Lone Ranger out, he's there, don't get him the ball, stop right there, he's running right here, okay, three's running that side the floor, we get the basketball to the one, boom, in the middle, stop, right there, we're in our break situation, okay, bring her back, okay, get out here Tyler, or coach, two coaches get out here this time. Okay. Now you say on the one four, let's say they cheat. Okay. Get over here, Ryan, and you take uh, Matt over. Okay. Let's say they cheat, and he starts leaking toward this guy over here. He starts leaking toward this guy over there. Okay. Oh, this guy's coming up anyway. Okay. He's coming up anyway, so the minute he starts leaning that way, come on up, Jube. We get the basketball right there. We're turned. We're going. Here we go. We're right into our situation that we want to be. Okay. Bring it back again. Bring it back again. Now, okay, what we like to do, and I'll usually tell the guy taking the ball out of bounds, about once out of every three, definitely once out of every four, I want him to run the baseline. When he runs the baseline, the three comes up. We get him the ball, the two bust. There's the ball in the middle. Bring it back. Good. Right there. Good job. Good job. Now, if he runs, if he runs, and this guy leaks to the outside. The two steps up. Boom. Get him the ball. There's the one. Here we go. Fill it up. Try it again. Okay. We always look to get the one, the ball. Okay? And as I say, against the diamond and one, you say, well, that isn't very complicated. No, it's not very complicated. And you can pick it up. You can pick it up in five minutes, and you get your kids running this, and I'm telling you it's going to destroy full-court zone presses.